now I'd like to tell you more about Ella Mae Lentz. This is her name sign. She's an American deaf poet, writer, teacher, and advocate. She was born to two deaf parents in Berkeley, California, and she has one deaf brother. She graduated from California School for the Deaf and then attended Gallaudet University. Ella graduated majoring in English and theater. Ella is an extremely talented and eloquent ASL poet, many studying the use of metaphor and meaning in her works. Ella has also been heavily involved in theater. One of her works filmed years ago is titled The Treasure and is a great example of her poetry. It was filmed a number of years ago, released on tape, converted to DVD, eventually put onto YouTube where you can find it now. Ella Mae Lentz has appeared on talk shows, PBS, Public Broadcasting Service, children's shows, various theater productions, and was involved in the production of video resources for ASL curriculums. Ella also developed testing materials and recruited deaf teachers to instruct ASL. This led to the development of the Signing Naturally curriculum, including three levels, to teach ASL to non-native users. These Signing Naturally textbooks have been used extensively over the years and are still in use today. Ella also helped to establish the Deaf Hood Foundation. You may see the word Deaf Hood signed a variety of ways. This was in February of 2009. The goal of this foundation is to encourage deaf and hearing people alike to work together to promote positive deaf identity. And the idea that deaf people can, moving away from negative self-image and powerlessness. The Deafhood Foundation likes to emphasize that the only thing that deaf people cannot do is hear. In 2007, when Ella retired from teaching, she established the company ASL Presents. Since then, Ella has been providing various services such as coaching, support services, consultation, lectures, performances, ASL and deaf culture curriculum. Ella continues to advocate for ASL, deaf culture, and deafhood. Ella actually came to Winnipeg I believe in about 2010 or around there, to provide a deaf hood presentation at the Manitoba School for the Deaf. Go to Manitoba School for the Deaf's website to see examples of her poetry on YouTube. Have a great day.